A good day, this is Michael with Iconasys. Today we'll be walking through the 360 video record functionality inside of our Shutterstream software when working with an Iconasys 360 product photography turntable. All right, so the first thing I've done is connected my camera via USB, and this is a live view of what my camera sees in this screen right here. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna notice is the product is out of focus. So what I wanna do is zoom in one-to-one -one and start to adjust my focal point so that I can set and fix a focal point for my 360 video record. And as we can see, we click these focal point buttons right here, and that will adjust the focal point to bring everything back into focus. After we've done so, we're gonna move on to our camera settings, and probably what I'll do is shoot with the lower ISO to get the maximum kind of quality. Um, the next thing I will do here is adjust my white balance. I've set a uh, color temperature on this camera so I'm going to select that and that's kind of optimal for my lighting and then the last thing I'm going to do is adjust my exposure settings through shutter speed and aperture and I can do that through mouse clicks again in these drop downs just to optimize for the correct exposure and what I'm seeing here that looks pretty good so now that we've kind of done our image composition or, or video composition we're going to enter into the 360 rotate window and that's what we're seeing right here. We're working with the silver mid-series turntable. So what I'm going to do is select that from the drop-down. And we're going to see I've enabled video capture with this checkbox. Now what I'm going to do is proceed to pre-rotate the turntable. Uh, I'm going to do one 360 rotation. And what I want to do visually here is ensure that my object is spinning in center. Um, one thing I should mention is you do have full control over the speed of the turntable. That's done through step width. There's nine different speed settings inside of here. So just getting back to our live view and what we can see here, uh, I'm just ensuring that I position my object in the center of the turntable, and that actually looks pretty good there. And after it's done one 360 rotation, it will stop. Now we can proceed with moving into the 360 video record. So. What I'm going to do is define a degrees that I wish to shoot. So I'd like to shoot a 500 degree video. That'll be almost one and a half full turns. And then when I'm ready to start shooting, I just hit my start button. What that's going to do is automate the camera's start record with the turntable movement and start recording the 360 video. And we can see it's coming up on the first 360 rotation and it will continue to rotate about another 140 degrees. At the time it hits the 500 degree mark per our settings, it will stop the video record as we can see there, 360 image capture complete and upload the video direct to our computer. And as we can see here, the 360, or pardon me, the 500 degree rotational video that we'd shot uh, in just seconds would create a very high quality result and uh, it's basically ready to go. We can do some post-production if required. Um, we'll probably just leave this as is and go ahead and post it. If you have any questions, again, the company name is Iconesis, and this video was demonstrating our 360 video record functionality. Thank you.